Today is year 3,353, segment C7, day 22. Is that correct? It seems like we need to adjust her clock. It's year 3775 right now. Did I really sleep that long? I brought good news for you, my dear sloth. It's finally time to revive the planet. Really? But what about the song? I just remembered the memory I had lost for 700 years. Today's a big day. We can finally fulfill our destiny. Exactly. We couldn't accomplish it back then because of that odious incident. Thank you, Auto. It's all thanks to you. It's a little early to start thanking me. Do it once we've completed our mission. Huh? It looks so nostalgic. Hey, Hurakane. Are you watching me right now? I'll succeed your will. It's been 700 years already, but I feel the same way I did back then. Place the heart of Gaia at the core, won't Harvest Asha's autopilot be sufficient? If it was just to place it, unfortunately, it's not as simple as that. Hmm. 
In the case of organ transplants, if you administer the wrong chemicals, the immune system will destroy the organ. So, when you want to transplant spiritual bodies, how would you put the immune system to sleep? The power of thoughts? Correct. Even if we hurl the 4D core squaring into the core, it would be rejected instantly and simply melt away. In order to have the will of the planet accepted, we have to converse with her and persuade her into doing so. To make things worse, the planet has decided to exterminate humanity. Do you think it'll accept something they need? Then it's impossible. That's why I'll communicate with RCL through my song. The reason I want you to come is to defend me in the meantime. Oh, I got you. So that's how it works. You don't need to answer right away. This is a matter of life or death. You guys have done enough for me already. I'm very thankful for that. And thank you again, just in case. What are you saying? Are we friends? Now that we've come this far, how could we let you go into Hell's hysterical volcano by yourself? Oto. Saki will go too. I can't wait at home while Tyria puts her life on the line. Me neither. Because I'm also a Rabatale. Then I gotta go too. Of course I'll go as well. It's a Rabatologist's duty to watch out for the health of a Rabatale. Thank you, everyone. After 700 years, I made some wonderful friends. I'm grateful from the bottom of my heart. Sorry to interrupt you, but there's one problem to work out before you can go into the core. That is, of course, the problem that has been present for 700 years. What is... The absolute symphonic power has dried up. This tower's symphonic power ran out 700 years ago, and it stopped all activity completely before embodying everything. The symphonic power circulating in the tower isn't sufficient to cover all the energy needed to launch the XP shell. Damn, that's one hell of a problem. Hey, what if we brought in some symphonic power from outside the tower? For example, from another tower. That's right, you're from another tower. If you bring in power from the outside and let the Kyra drain plate absorb it, we may be able to collect enough energy. So, I just have to channel the extra power through the Kyra drain plate, and then we can get this plan to work? Precisely. Maybe Sasha can handle this. Really? I'm still not 100% sure, because I don't know how much more energy we need. But anyway, let's go to Nya Nya Ya.
Rika, you look great. Well, it's all thanks to you. Oh yeah, I'm glad to hear that. Uh, um, doctor. Yes. Well, I would like to take you somewhere. Do you have a minute or two? Hmm. Go with her, doctor. We'll just be relaxing at the inn. Yeah. You guys haven't gone out on a date in a long time. A date? Well, that wasn't quite a date, was it? That's even more of a reason for you to go on a first real date. He's right. Please go with her. But don't worry about us. Go have fun. <laughs> Doctor. All right, let's go. Rika, this is an unusual place for a date. What exactly did you have in mind to do here? Before answering your question, will you please pay attention to my story? I haven't given you a proper apology yet. I wanted to tell you the whole truth in person. Okay. I used to belong to the Clastanian army. One day. I was sent to spy on Arkia with a group of agents. Why? Our objective was to steal the SH server from Arkia. Their security system was tighter than I thought. My squad was annihilated. I found myself wandering in the Tower of Origin. What I saw there was another Harvestasha that was up and running. You ended up in such a dangerous place. You're lucky to have survived. They caught me, of course, and I was almost erased to keep their secret. That was when Raphael rescued me. Raphael? Because I was a Z, a Ravetail who could sing the song for humanity's evolution. He let me survive, under the condition that I would never reveal any of Arkia's confidential information. If I betrayed them. He would separate my soul from my body using the SH server. I was scared, so I obeyed him. Rika, you couldn't tell me the truth. You held it all to yourself. I'm sorry. I caused you all a lot of trouble for my own selfish reasons. That must have been really hard. I'm sorry. I wasn't aware of your fear or your dilemma. Do do you still hate Arkia? To be honest with you, I don't think my hatred or sadness will go away so easily. You really loved your sister. She was my only family member. Do you still want to see her? Huh? If you could, would you like to talk to her in person? Rika, what are you saying? Her cosmosphere is still alive. If you use the think tank's facilities, you can go in there. It doesn't mean that she's still alive or can ever revive. And if you do contact her, her cosmosphere will run out of remaining energy, and she'll be lost for good. <laughs> I know this won't make up for everything I've done to you, but I still want to do something for you. You're the only person in the world who's ever made me happy. Thank you, Rika. Let me see my sister. This is her cosmosphere. This is the Tower of Life. Brother. Aisha. Brother, I'm glad I got to see you again. Sorry, you can't think of anything to say. It must be the worst, Big Brother. I've always wanted to see you. You too. What were you doing? Did you get hurt? No, 